So the purpose of this video is to listen to a single component change, and that component change is from metal film resistors, which are about 50 parts per million noise, uh, to, and we're going to change over to bulk metal foil resistors, which is two parts per million noise. Um, the noise doesn't really come into play too much because it's tube gear. We're putting it into a 1952 Cinema Engineering uh, line amp in the uh, uh, input attenuator stage. So uh, we're literally listening to single components. It's actually two resistors being replaced with two resistors. So it's the uh, metal film being replaced by the bulk metal foils. So uh, for the... Uh, sound that's traveling through it or the mix it's a 230 track mix that i just finished from a band called fornax chemica and the reason why i chose the mix is uh, a because i think the band is really good not just because i happen to have mixed it uh, b it's super complex and incredibly dense and so it actually does reveal um, a lot of changes or a lot of a lot of things about the components that you're running it through and so without further ado let's go ahead and just boom boom um, I'll show you the uh, literally the difference, and the only difference you're hearing is the actual change out of a single pair of resistors. Okay, so what I hear, um, what I hear is increased transient response across the board, which blows my mind. I never thought that would that would make a difference like that, just for, from a single resist uh, or dual resistor replacement. Um, better transient response, better sound stage, wider, more open sound stage, way more articulation on the highs and mids, uh, more of a holographic quality to everything. Um, <laughs> there goes the mix. Uh, the depth, the depth of uh, front, front to back, se you know, the seeming, seemingly having that kind of depth uh, uh, is deeper, and things are more articulate, uh, spread across the the spectrum uh, from left to right. And I mean, it it's blow, blows my mind. I never expected to have a change like that just by replacing a pair of resistors. Um, so for me, the bulk metal foils are a no-brainer. I mean, they're eight dollars a piece as opposed to fifty cents a piece or a dollar a piece for for metal films, 
but for sixteen dollars uh, a channel for my cinema engineering line amps, I've got an upgrade that makes them better and all the way across the board and pushes the envelope. And that's what I try to do. I'm trying to push the envelope on everything I do and make it better. And if I can get extra resolution like that, I want it. Um, so for me, it's, it's, it works out great. I can't wait to hear what people's opinions are. I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm just saying, I try this out. Here's the information. Run with it. You don't think it's worth it? Cool. You think it's worth it? Cool. Um, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what people have to say. And comments are welcome. Um, constructive comments are especially welcome. So what I'm about to do now is replace these uh, little kind of run-of-the-mill metal film resistors that I have shunting um, these custom pots to ground. Um, once again, these pots are dual 1Ks, um, but it's cut in half, uh, so you end up getting around 500 to 600 uh, ohms. OPAD is what it is. So it's a 600 ohm symmetrically balanced attenuator OPAD, basically. Um, and what we're doing is replacing this average run-of-the-mill resistor with <laughs> very not average, very not run-of-the-mill, um, naked bulk foil metal resistors, which is resistors that are two parts per million noise, replacing probably 50 part per million noise. There we go, we got uh, two of these bad boys on there. They look really cool too. <laughs> and uh, this little tab where, where the two resistors tie to ground coming off of the counterclockwise legs of the uh, pot. The two counterclockwise legs go to the resistors and then the resistors tie to ground. I got my little ground wire so you chill over here. So one down. I gotta get some more of these done. That's about it. Uh, until next time, see you guys later. Uh, signing off from World Class Audio.